What is up guys? This is Perry and also known as Luke and welcome back to Spore Galactic Adventures. In the last episode, we were conquering the entire planet. And in this episode, we're going to be conquering it even more. I have plans. So we need to select all of our planes. Get every last one of them. And we need to go over here and we actually need to defend our, uh, our city here because we definitely do not need it to be taken over. Uh, do I have... Destroys no that that'll uh, I think okay if you use that it nukes everything so then you can't rebuild any buildings which we don't want. Come on, please get there in time. Please get there in time. Please get there in time. We happily oh we can see the writing on the wall. I think it's time to fight no more forever. We happily accept your surrender. Global domination is yours when you're ready to explore the far reaches of the planet. Click the event. Okay, yeah. Cool. Yep. Mm-hmm. Okay, yep. yep. Okay. But first, hold up. We need um, to do city planners on most of these cities. And Okay, yeah. Yeah, I got it. Um, but we need to actually build these cities because right now they're not looking too hot. Uh, let's add in a factory here. And some entertainment here. Why are you all complaining? Shush. House. Do I have another? No, that's it. That's fine. Um, you we don't need anymore. Now we need to go ahead and get some turrets in here. One, two. Do I have enough? Three. Four. Yeah, five. Yeah, we'll make it. Okay, control shift C. More money. No wonder it's so dark in my room. Duh, I forgot to turn on my lamp. Yeah, I was like, why is it so dark in here? Why can I, like, not see? Okay. That's enough. That's all that we need. Okay. So that's that city. Um, now, okay, one thing that I do need to do is get rid of all of you. And get rid of all of you. Okay. Because right now we actually need to start... Okay. Hold up. I need to go into my city planner. I need to build some seafaring vehicles because we need to be able to... I don't really... I really need speed for these guys. And really, I don't need to worry about it because, uh... <laughs> I mean, hey, we're not even, like, going to be, uh... really investing in this planet anymore, so... Okay. First of all, we need to rebuild each city make sure that they're good because I did skip over a whole ton of them so we put a house down okay put down a factory and then some entertainment no okay hold up hold up um entertainment there no because it needs to be connected to there and then put the house over here and then put the factory over here and then put no let's get the house no that, that doesn't work uh, entertainment? Okay, that's fine. Um, there, now they're extremely happy. We'll put another house here so we're still making some more money. Okay, that's good. Um, Turret-wise, we need to set this thing up with turrets, just because. Okay. Yes, I do have a game plan for all this, because uh, I actually wasn't expecting their surrender. But, uh, you yeah. know. Good thing that they did. Um, because it would have ended horribly. Okay, now. Here's all this, that's all good. Um, we need a house. We need a factory to make sure that we're making all that money. We need a, no, no, another house. Entertainment. Sorry, I can't keep straight what these things are. It's like our factory is like our working zone, which like makes no sense. Um, you and then put a house here. And then put another factory here. And then put some entertainment heat. No. That'll have to do. Whatever, it's all good. No, you don't do anything for me. You do, and you do, I believe. Yes, you do. Anything else? Yes, there is. We got a factory that we can put in. We'll put you in there. Anything else? No? Oh, there's one more spot. House. Okay, that's cool. Wow, this was like a really big city. Okay, let's go ahead and get ourselves some turrets. 
Let's go ahead and put in some turrets very quickly because right now we really need to uh, protect our zone. Okay, there. All done. Okay, you're all done. Now for you. You're the, uh, the last one on this little continent area. I really... Did I? No, I didn't even work on you at all. Uh, disconnect there. Okay, that's good. Um, I do need a house because we do need to be making some more money. You would be useless. A house would work out for you. That's it. Okay. I'm sorry, really, I'm not playing this game to be fair. <laughs> I'm just saying. Okay. Um, you're all good. You're good. Okay. I'm also trying to get this done because once you go into the, uh, the space area, you can't edit any of this stuff. Okay, you are already at max. You're all good. Yay! You max as well? Yes, you are. Okay. What about you? You good? Yep, completely filled up. Okay. What about you? Oh, no, we got one more place. We can only place a house there, though. Ooh, we can put one here. Kind of useless, but that's okay. house here and a house here just because anything else nope we can't okay nothing else on that okay so that's that now we need to go to spoiler which unfortunately this is just gonna be like okay you guys sound really weird um but this is a uh, it's unfortunately just gonna be the nuke zone forever there's like nothing i can do about it i'm sorry guys <laughs> It's gonna be like, uh, remember the day that we bombed Spooler, or Spooler, I don't know, however you want to pronounce it. Okay, we already got all this connected, already got all this connected, yay. Okay, now we need at least one here, and we need for you to go ahead and claim this, if you would. And you, we need another land vehicle, just because. Okay. Now we need you to, if you would please, very so kindly, produce a land vehicle and a C1. Oh, I didn't need that. I didn't need the plane. Go away, plane. Plane, you're fine. Yes. Okay. C vehicle. There we go. Okay. You, I need you to go ahead and claim this. And I have a land vehicle here. Do I know it? Yes, I do. I need you. Okay, you're already a part of that. But you are not. Okay, so you're actually good. Never mind, I don't need you. Okay, you. I need you to go ahead and produce for yourself a sea vehicle and a land vehicle. I need for the land vehicle to go ahead and claim this. And I need for my sea vehicle, not you. I need you, my friend, to go over here and claim this, if you would please. Now I need you to produce a land vehicle, and I need for you to go ahead and claim this spice geyser. And, okay, you, since yours isn't doing anything, I need for your cute little land vehicle to go to here, claim this one. Thank you. Um, also, I need your C vehicle. To go ahead and claim this one for me. Okay, and now I need for you to go ahead and produce a sea vehicle and a land vehicle. I need for the land vehicle to go ahead and go after this. And claim that. And we need you to produce a land vehicle. We need this land vehicle to go ahead and claim this one right here. This was my mistake that I made last time that I played the game, is that I would uh, I would make this stuff, but then I wouldn't actually like try to claim all the spice geysers on the planet, because I just wanted to get into space. But that is really what you need to do. 
Okay, you. Since you're just sitting here, I need you to go ahead and go over here and claim that one. Now, with the rest of our military, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and put in planes because they're much more helpful. Okay, so. Now, those will fly around once we're in space mode. I'm gonna wait till that one last geyser gets claimed because we wanna make sure that we're making some decent revenue with uh, with the planet because otherwise we will be hurting. Not really like we need it because I can just spawn in more money, but it's all good. Okay, there we go. And now we're gonna go ahead and advance our history. The choices you, <laughs> the choices throughout your evolutionary history have accumulated into your race's identity as you lift off into space. Your traits affect not only your inherent abilities, but also have earned you a unique tool in your spaceship's arsenal. War ended, war ended, war ended, war ended, war started, war ended. <laughs> Military capture. Okay, we are a warrior. So anyway. Dustly we go inwards to build and to conquer. Okay, now we need to have ourselves a good spaceship. Uh, okay, we're going into the Sparpedia. <laughs> Sorry, I really don't have time in these episodes to make this stuff. I really wish I did, but uh, I really like that one. Uh, what, what one do I want to use? I want to use something that's like bury my coach. Um, and it really doesn't matter what it looks like, just because uh, you get all the skills and stuff, you buy them, so it's not like you really need it. Ooh, I like that one. Wow, that is a lot of wings. That'll do! I like it! <laughs> Okay, well, we'll just go with that. I actually really, really like that. That's kind of cool, <laughs> but slightly weird, but it's okay. Okay. Uh, you. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Yay! I'm going to root the cat in the background. Huzzah! And upwards we go, into space. Liftoff! He has successfully developed a ship capable of space flight. The heavens beckon. The cosmos await. The universe is at your fingertips if you can learn to fly this thing. <laughs> yes, this is very true. Name your captain. Um... <laughs> uh, let's just do a dice roll. Munden! We're a Munden! No, 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 no. No, no. Crew? No. We're not off. No. Camillus? No. Escoda. Escoda! I like that. Okay. Um, welcome to the pinnacle of existence, the final frontier, the wildest space. You control the ship from the. Blah, 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 blah. How you progress? Badges you earn. Okay. Mission Learn how to communicate. Okay, cool. Uh, the short range, yeah, okay. Flashing signal means you have an incoming transmission. Congratulations, cadet! You've got a fine ride there. We are still adding new equipment to your ship. Travel no time. No, okay, okay, I'm in. Okay, finish. Ugh! Okay, you can log. LK at any time. Okay, cool. Ah, so we can get closer to the planet with the mouse wheel. Okay, this makes sense. Okay, let's not crash into something. <laughs> Whee! What are we trying to do? Are we trying to actually do something? I can't tell. Right now, I see things. Okay, what am I? What am I trying to do? Hold up. Oh, okay. Am I trying to go out? We're back in. Oh, I gotta fly over. Oh, I forgot about this. You gotta fly over all the different cities. A different.
different heights. Oh, this is okay. Oh, okay, I remember this. This is like the stupidest part of it. <laughs> okay. You, my friend. Okay. Boop. Yay, okay. Uh, I'm gonna fly over. Oh, I don't have to fly over all of them? Yeah, yeah, I don't. Okay. Good job, cadet. We're flying like that. You'll make a captain in no time. So, what do you want me to do next? Now you're an ace of flying. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, scan. Okay, mm hmm. Okay, I'll be back soon. Ahem! <clears throat> we need to scan the animals, the plants or animals, to get more information about them. Uh, deactivate, press the escape key. Okay, cool. So we can, like. Where are you? Keep it over here. Oh, they're so cute! Excellent, our scientists are eager to analyze the data. So what do you want me to do next? Gadzooks, the information collected by scanning was quite valuable. It is now clear that we need to examine this... Wow, my accent like changed, what, three times? <laughs> It's good as we need to examine this species more closely. Your ship is equipped with an abduction beam. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, cool. We can abduct things. I'll be back soon. Okay, yes. We will use the abduction beam. No, oh, you're not what I would need. Okay, you're dead. Sorry. You're not what I need. You're not what I need either. Is it dead? Okay, I don't need you. Destroyed. Okay. Oops, I didn't mean to hit it twice. Okay. Is that not what I was looking for? No, that is. Okay. Oh! I got the... I got a plant before. What in the world? Okay. Um. Clean up your mess. What? Click the wobble D cargo area, then click the hold inside of any city. Whoop. There we go. Now let's see it get abducted. Back into its place. Yay, hey, okay. Measurably fine work, cadet. You've, you've, run us, blah, blah, you've provided us with an excellent specimen to research. Probe twice, abduct once, I always say. So what do you want me to do next? It appears that the specimen is uh, sick and infected with a virus. Okay, yep. Mm -hmm. Okay, man, I'll be back soon. The mini laser. Oh, this is great. Okay, energy and health. Okay, cool. Where did we recharge with that? I can't remember. Okay, we need to kill all these guys. No, you're not who I was looking for. Okay. Dead. Okay, let's fly around. Ah, uh, there we go. Several of them. Dead. Okay. Cool! Laudable job. A large scientist developed an intermediary drive for your ship. But install for sh okay, sounds good. I'm ready. Okay. Boop. Buy item. Captain, get out your spandex suit. We're sending you on a space journey. Ah, the tight spandex. I remember it well. Um, <laughs> we suspect. Uh, we suspect. Okay, we're not alone in the galaxy. Okay, bye. Yay! Now we got interplanetary uh, drivers, so we can go to different planets. Congratulations! You have earned the badge and title of captain. Okay, cool. Sees all the badges and stuff. I remember all this. I remember it well. I remember it well. Okay. Yep. And these are all the tools. Kill. Calling your credit back.
Huh. There we go. And now we're to the solar system. Wow, this, that actually looks like uh, Saturn. Okay, we need to exit the solar system. What do I need to do? Kirin. There we go. Load in. Ugh. Ugh, man, my voice. I was losing my voice last night, actually. It was uh, rather interesting. Ugh. Something that I do want to talk about, by the way, um, while we're playing Spore, is... Okay, uh, probably... Uh, okay, cool. Now I just need to scan the thing. But, um... But, yeah, but something I want to talk about is, uh... Okay, maybe I need to scan. There we go. It's an alien life form that basically inscribed and said, Oh, hey, this is where our planet is. Please come discover us. Yay, and now we get our first... Okay, looks good. Come over, fight. Okay, go out to Galactic View. So now we have missiles. We have magic missiles. Okay, you. You're trying to communicate with me. What are you having to say? Was that it? Oh, okay. Galactic View. Okay, that one is where the uh, thing is coming from. Now, if you scroll out even more, you can see exactly where we are. Hey! We're totally getting to the center, by the way. Totally gonna do it. Okay. You? Now we need to zoom into the solar system, but anything, one, anyway, blah, blah, blah. one thing I wanted to talk about is that, um, as of recent, I've been getting so many people, like, so many people, and they're like, they're in my messages, and they're just saying, oh, you should totally uh, partner up with this or this. And it's like, no, I'm sorry, but I already explained in a video, I am not going to be partnering with anybody. No offense to you guys, but I'm not partnering with anybody. Showing up on the ship's radar. And it is a destroyed city. One wonders what could have caused it. Too late, these are, okay, yep. Now we need to go over there and scan it. There we go. Now we got some information. The scan came up with nothing, but it seems to have triggered a response. Some activity is showing up on the radar. And now we have our first encounter with the villains. Okay, no, no, they're not. Those aren't, okay. Warning! Grox intruders detected. All Grox intruders must be terminated. Grox? We're not Grox! For the last time, we're not Grox! Okay. You. And I just need to maneuver around a little bit. Okay, where are you? I know there's another one here. Where are you? Is that it? Mission accomplished. Okay, we can return to our home world. Boosh! I'm about to count into the open. But yeah, I've been getting a lot of uh, a lot of messages of people that are just like, Oh, you should totally join our little uh, partnership, blah, 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 and all this stuff, and you can get so much stuff. And I'm just like, no, no thanks. Like, seriously, I really, really am not... Not really feeling like I want to partner up with anybody, because uh, honestly, I, uh, I'm not in it to be partnered with anybody. I know that that sounds kind of strange, and I know that the new way of YouTube is like, Oh, you gotta be partnered with people to do... It. No, you really, you really don't. I'm just saying, with the uh, if you know how to handle yourself correctly in YouTube, you never need to partner with anybody. It's uh, actually some partnerships with people really feel like scams. Like honestly, I mean, if you think about it, okay, you partner with somebody, but then a percentage of your revenue goes to them. So if you really have talent and you have people that are genuinely subscribing to you, guess what? That money that you could have been making now. Okay, I'm not in it really for the money, but. 
the money that you could have been making, it is now going to them. A small percentage is going to them for your talent. Now, okay, they could get you like subscribers or views or whatever, but who really cares about that? Because you wanna know something? I care about the quality of my views, the quality of my subscribers, and the quality of the entire like little family that we've got going on here. I, I highly respect the quality that we have here. I never want it to just be a number because it is not just a number. You are all individuals and you are all helping throughout this journey of what's going on here with YouTube. And it's amazing to see, which is why I never want to be partnered is because it is uh, kind of pointless in my opinion, because then like, let's see. Okay, you get partnered with somebody. Great, you share the revenue, but you also get views. But um, yeah, what's really the point? What are you losing when you do that? Like, what are you losing? Are you... Like, okay, do you think that you're really keeping yourself when you're doing that with partnering up with somebody? Oh, yeah, you get to keep your views and your videos. No, really what you're doing is you're selling yourself out, kind of. To me. To me. Okay? This, these are all my opinions. This is not fact. Just keep that in mind if you're going to debate me in the comments or whatever. But, anyway, this is also where I'm going to go and end off the episode. Thank you all so much for watching. Please be sure to leave a like or dislike down below to show your support for the video. Also, please be sure to comment down below with whatever you may have to say. I will try to get your, to your comments as soon as possible. I know that in the Spore videos, I don't actually get to the comments. I just reply to them via um, my comment system on my YouTube app. But, um... But yeah, also, please be sure to leave your comments down below with, uh, I actually want to know what you guys think about, um, the partnership, like, stuff, and, uh, the system that they have going on with it, and, like, I don't know, just, like, the fact where they're, like, they'll claim, they'll be like, oh, yeah, you get to have 100% ownership of your videos, but, like, your revenue, a portion of your revenue goes to us, and, like, you can eventually work your way up to 100% revenue, and, oh, we just got you to this point, no. Really, to me, it seems so pointless, and it seems almost like a scam, because uh, they're making money off of you pretty much for free. Like, if you think about it, they're really making money off of you for free, because they'll just... They're basically a conglomerate channel that will add people together, and then once they've added people together, then... There you go. All they have to literally do is just add somebody to that list, then tell everybody to go subscribe to them, then the people can go subscribe to them or whatever, and then you're showing this support for this group or whatever, and then they get all the revenue. It, it honestly seems rather dishonest with how it all is. Just my opinion, just my humble opinion. I mean, I'm not saying that I won't ever partner with somebody because there may be somebody out there where it's like one day when I get larger and I'm just like, hey, I just want to go out and partner with somebody. That'd be kind of cool to do. That's all that I'm going to do it for. I'm just going to do it because the community would be cool to do. I'm not going to do it because they would get me views or get me revenue or anything. That is uh, really all that I would be doing it for because it would be fun because honestly, that's all that this is about. This is uh, YouTube is about having fun and having fun with your subscribers playing games that you all like, having this connection, this deep interconnection with everybody, because uh, honestly, otherwise, besides that, your time is wasted here. If you're trying, like I'm not saying that you can't try to get rich and then you won't get rich, but what I'm trying to say is, is that if you're in it for the money or you're in it to ignore your subscribers, think of them as just a number, you're not going to get anywhere. You wanna know the reason why my subscribers have nearly doubled in less than a, or actually in a month, pretty much, is what they doubled, because in December it was 200, and in January it was 400. Uh, they double because I care about all of you guys. I don't see you as a number. Like, sure, I may have gotten excited, and I did get excited at 400 subscribers, because that is honestly a lot, and I'm gonna get super excited at 500, which, by the way, 500, um, the, uh, Zoo Tycoon 2 giveaway happens, but, um, but yeah, it's all it's all very, very exciting to see, and I never think of you guys as a number, and I never will. I know this is kind of weird putting this at the end of a video, but yeah, anyway. So also, please be sure to subscribe if you like my content, if you like my commentary, if you like my style, if you like my videos, etc. I really am not doing my normal outro. But anyway, thank you all so much for watching. This is Perrin, also known as Luke, signing off.